Hello and welcome to my channel. If you are new and just visiting for the first time, then my name is Rayanne Abbott. I'm an interior designer and I do lifestyle, cleaning, organization, and vlog style videos. So if you like those types of videos, then I would love for you to subscribe. And with all of that said, let's jump into today's video. So today's spring cleaning video is going to be in collaboration with Navigating Nicole. If you haven't seen one of her videos, then you should definitely go and check her out. She is a mommy to an adorable little boy named Colton, and she does lifestyle and cleaning videos just like mine. I also think that she is a perfect example of following your dreams and doing exactly what you wanna do regardless of life's obstacles. I mean, being a mom is really hard. Doing YouTube is really hard. Both of those things take a lot of time and effort. So the fact that she's doing both is just amazing. So once you are done watching this video, check out the link below to her channel and be sure to give her a like and a subscribe and definitely support what she's doing and support her following her dreams. Hey, my name is Nicole and I'm so excited to be doing this collab with my fellow Canadian girl, Rayanne. Um, we're gonna be sharing some spring cleaning tips and I hope you guys enjoy them. I thought I'd tell you guys a little bit about myself. I'm a new mom to a little boy named Colton. He's nine months old and over on my channel, I share some lifestyle stuff, some mommy videos. I like to share my favorites every month and we do a few vlogs, some cooking. I kind of do a little bit of everything. So if that sounds like something you guys would like, be sure to head on over to my channel after you watch Rayanne's video and check out what I have going on. I hope you guys enjoy our videos and thanks so much for watching. So with all of that said, we are going to be doing the second spring cleaning video in my spring cleaning series. Spring, as there's still two feet of snow outside my window while I'm filming this. The first one was when I cleaned my fridge and honestly, I was going to do my kitchen next, but just a little bit bigger of a task than I'm willing to take on today. So because of that, we are going to be spring cleaning the living room. I'm going to be doing a deep clean, taking apart the couch and vacuuming and getting rid of all the dog hair. If you have dogs, you know exactly what that's like. It would definitely be a lot easier to do this right now if it was actually spring outside. I hope you enjoyed today's video and let's jump right in. So something that I like to do to get myself motivated to start my spring cleaning is to first write out a list of everything that I need to get done. I feel like it's a lot easier to start cleaning when you actually have tasks that you can tick off and feel like you're actually getting something done. So that's a good place to start if you are having troubles getting motivated. The next thing that I like to do in order to get myself motivated is turn on some music. Turning on music will make you feel energized and make you feel like you should actually get up and start cleaning. I think that spring cleaning is a really good time for you to clean things that you wouldn't normally clean on a daily basis. So for cleaning my living room, I am going to be completely taking apart the couch and vacuuming the entire thing, getting rid of all the dog hair that we can't get rid of on a daily basis. I am going to be sweeping and mopping the entire floor, including moving the couch, because I definitely don't do that when I clean regularly. Let's be honest. I am also going to wash the window sills and the windows and I'm also going to dust and clean my entire media cabinet and then take everything completely out and put everything back in so I can redecorate and have a fresh new look for spring. Spring cleaning should always be a time for you to change the way that your living space looks and freshen it up for the new season. Try to think of spring cleaning as a new beginning instead of a very big task. Make sure to put in the comments below what your favorite spring cleaning task is so that other people can read the comments and hopefully get inspiration from your advice down below. 
Take the time to do things that you wouldn't normally do during your regular cleaning, so like cleaning the back of the couch or finally cleaning that spot that your dog keeps licking on the back of the couch. Do things like that. Fluffing the side of the couch that your boyfriend always sits on and makes it all slouchy. Take the time to fix the things that have been bugging you for a really long time. This is your time to make sure that you go through and thoroughly clean everything. It's a new beginning, remember?
Decorating is always the part that takes me the longest. I can probably spend the same amount of time decorating that I did cleaning the entire room. But it also makes me the happiest because I feel like over time my space just gets cluttered with all of this stuff that I collect. Spring cleaning is a great opportunity for you to completely clear all of that stuff and that clutter and have a refreshed and spring inspired decor look. I just want to thank Nicole again for collaborating with me on this video. If you have come over from her channel, I just want to say welcome and I hope you stay and subscribe. I hope that you have enjoyed our spring cleaning video and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys!